We're here with Chef Judy with a cookbook inspired spread. Please tell us about all this delicious looking food and all these cookbooks, Judy. Well, this is really fun because obviously I have a library of over 300 cookbooks. As oh my many gosh. of my friends. And you know, for us, I mean, there's nothing like curling up in a comfy chair and reading a great cookbook. So it's fun to talk to these different people about what was their favorite cookbook. And there is such a day called National Favorite Cookbook Day. I know you <laughs> all were wondering about that. I was waiting so all year. We are. Excitement. We'll see a new play about it soon. <laughs> Let's go over here. Chef Larry Barrett, a very dear friend. There he is up on the screen from Simply Gourmet Catering. He picked a favorite. This is The Art of Cooking by Jacques Pepin. And I have to tell you, I have every one of his cookbooks going way back. And they're wonderful. This is a salmon dish that he and his dad used to eat oh, together. Wow. And it has the house smoked salmon with a cucumber salad stuffing on it, asparagus. And he said it's that elegant lunch meal. Mm -hmm. But it brings such like fond memories of, <laughs> of having that with his dad and I love that and the thing about the art of cooking is if you know the essentials of cooking Jacques Pepin does not make it hard he makes it very easy for you to follow he even has simpler cookbooks like um, fast food my way oh, which oh. is really so you can look it up and the greatest thing about Jacques Pepin is the same thing Julia Child used to do and Jacques told me the same thing Always keep your phone number in the book in case somebody has a question on a recipe. <laughs> oh and every year on Thanksgiving, I get phone calls. So oh. he was right. So that's from Simply Gourmet. And thank you, Larry Barrett, because a great story. Going to another Larry and another good friend, Larry Hoffman uh -huh. from the Little Sarasota Dining Book. There's Larry. Again, Larry often on DineSarasota.com has a segment called Cook This Book. And Larry, who's not a chef, but a very brilliant man that loves to cook and has always done most of the cooking in his family, did a gorgonzola and apple tart. And it is, we were just we nibbling on it. Nib it, yes. is just it is amazing. Lovely, and I'm recommending that everybody think about trying that around the holidays. This is going to be a beautiful holiday morning breakfast. Very nice. And this is Around My French Table, another wonderful book. And there's some of these recipes don't always feel a French cookbook has mm -hmm. to be too difficult. You know, yes, okay. Julia Child cookbook that she wrote for seven years, that's an intense cookbook, even for me, for oh. some of the dishes. But here's a great one, teaching the basics plus up another notch. Okay. So well done, Larry, and his new 2018 book should be out in January for okay. dining. Great. Now let's go over to Paulette Calendar from the Spice and Tea Exchange, located right on St. Armand's. I didn't know this about Paulette. She lived in Australia for a few years. Oh, wow. So now I get why she likes Australian wine so much. <laughs> now I figured it out. Makes sense. But so her cookbook is Australia, and this is a crispy skinned seared salmon. Now she served it with the roasted vegetables and mashed potatoes, but she brought in some great seasonings and the green bamboo rice. And I have to say, I think the green bamboo rice would be a really delicious component, especially if you don't want such starch as oh. a potato. The rice just adds a different texture. Well, I want to taste it. Let's see. Now, I want Bob, our dear friend from Gold Rush Barbecue, to know that I didn't do this part of me. I didn't do this. Absolutely, I didn't eat the whole piece, but I wanted everybody in the set to try it. I ate the whole oh. piece you gave me. This is our dear friend, Bob Overholzer from Gold Rush Barbecue. I mean, Bob just loves to cook and bake. And he picked a favorite. I wore out my first two silver pellet cookbooks in my very first <laughs> restaurant. And I had to keep going and replacing them because they were torn and ripped. But he made their carrot cake. And mm. if I can say, anybody that is, is will remember chicken marabella in full color. I mean, that was like the biggest recipe ever. <laughs> so you'd make chicken marabella and carrot cake. And thank you, Bob, you nailed it. Yeah, it was wonderful. And finally, very difficult for me to pick one. So I would say this one I'm using the most right now. It's called Jerusalem. I love this chef. I've been to Israel. Uh -huh. it's, if you have not been to Israel and you want to read uh, really great stories about their cuisine, um, 
that's the book to read. And if you've been there, it reminds you exactly of, of what you ate. I have a burnt eggplant similar to a lot of um, different dishes you'll see in Middle Eastern restaurants. On purpose. On Because <laughs> I do some I burnt dishes, no, no, too. That's that's right. Right. So next time you just say, yeah, it called for it to be burnt. You yeah, can Chef burn Judy the, told me. You burn the skin of the eggplant, and it has fresh pomegranates and garlic and wow. lemon juice. Wow. Very bright, and you can serve it with either uh, pita bread, or I just chose a simple almond cracker. But really a fantastic book. So. All of these, I mean, we could do this every week and never go through all yeah. our cookbooks. And yeah. I'd be curious, Stephanie, I know you cook a lot. Do you have a favorite cookbook? You know, you asked me about that, and I don't have a favorite. I use mostly family recipes. So there are, you know, copies Which, of this and copies of that. You know what? Which is always the best. And I always tell people when you're handing down a recipe, handwrite it. Yes. I have recipes I do too. from my Nana, my mom, yep. and my sister. Makes it more personal. And that whole, to me, that. Right. Yeah. But I do have a dog eared Betty Crocker cookbook. That I I yeah, there, I think that's right. I have pulled yeah. a lot of things well, in my life. first marriage. <laughs> yes, no, We're seriously. Housekeeping and Betty Crocker. Yep, yes. yep. That's right. And Joy of Cooking. I have that's that one right. too. I'm a basic girl. Truth. All right. Thank you, Judy. Thank Brendan, you. thanks for joining us. We are looking thank forward you. to digging in. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Take some time. Enjoy the Sun Coast View.